funny. Today we're gonna play a game called What Lipstick Does Not Look Disgusting with a purple wig. So I'm just gonna go through some of my lipsticks and in the comments below, once I'm done, you can tell me what does not look nasty. So by Halloween, I'll know what lipstick is optimum goodness with this wig. I'm gonna be doing some of the most requested or the most suggested ones from my original lavender hair video where I was talking about when I first got this. So let's just, let's just put them on. Let's do it. The very first one that a bunch of you suggested was Lime Crimes Delilac. I actually love this lipstick, but I really think it looks repulsive on my face, even when my hair isn't lavender. But now maybe that my hair is lavender, it'll make all the difference in the world. Okay then. Okay. Y'all have a way better eye than I do. I think this actually looks way better maybe than the black lipstick looks with this. Maybe you just have to have lavender hair to properly wear. Lime Crimes to Lilac Lipstick. How do I look? Do I look sexy? Maybe if I stopped making stupid faces and just looked like Bunny, it would be clearer to us all. I'm giving it my Lana Del Rey face, you know, so I just look kind of sad and dead. Kind of pouty. I don't have enough collagen in my lips to be Lana Del Rey. I love her though. Isn't she lovely? Doesn't she sing wonderful songs? I guess I'm only gonna be able to get my lips so tabula rasa after each application. Tabula rasa, by the way, means blank slate. Somebody said to try the Gaga ones. I actually have Gaga 1 and Gaga 2, so I guess I'll put Gaga 1 on first because... Excuse me, Gaga 2. I'm gonna put on Gaga 2 first because that's the nude one. Gaga 1 was the pink one. So let's go with a nude lip. That is rad. I'm sure you're gonna love this. I'm actually gonna like this too. I guess maybe everything looks better than the black that I was doing. I don't know. So that was Max Viva Glam in Gaga 2, which is the nude color. Okay, so now I'm doing the original Viva Glam Gaga by MAC. This is almost kind of like a mini lipstick collection too, isn't it? So this is like kind of a baby pink type color. I'm not so emotionally moved by this combo. I liked the first two better. Not that crazy about that one, to be honest. Okay, so some of you guys suggested that I use Musky Amethyst. Can't say that word. I did like a tutorial about this when the uh, Max and My Precious collection came out. So let's see how this kind of darker, darker color looks. I don't, uh, darker amethyst. Okay. I'm actually quite pleased with how that turned out. Since I'm just kind of doing some speed applications, I definitely think that with the wig and with this lipstick, I normally layer it with a lip pencil in Night Moth. I really like the application of this lipstick with Night Moth a lot better than without. But I think the coloration with the wig looks decent. I don't know. Y'all tell me what you think. I keep like posing in front of the camera. I'm being such a ham tonight. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm really not this vain. I'm really not, oh, Vane, you belong in Vogue. You are a model. Really not like that in real life. Um, unless I'm by myself and trying to cheer myself up. Give me a minute, gotta wipe my mouth. Okay, this is a color that some of you mentioned to me. It's CoverGirl's Divine and this is a kind of deeper purple color. I actually already had a lot of them that y'all suggested. It was crazy. It's like y'all have a secret hidden camera in my makeup collection. I don't know. I've actually maybe never put this on. Or did I? I don't know. Let's find out. Mm, I don't know. I kind of have mixed feelings about this. What do you guys think? Tell me. I don't know if the purples go well together or if they clash. Crikey. My lips are getting agitated. Courtleeks, do y'all really say crikey in Australia or is that just a Crocodile Dundee thing? Okay, next one I'm gonna try is Revlon's um, Vava Violet. I think a lot of y'all mentioned this too. It's a really, really dark, almost black, plumish kind of violet. Plurple. I feel like I'm getting really sloppy with my application now. I don't think I've ever put this much lipstick 
on in my life. So this is Vava Violet. Maybe this is another one that I would possibly put a lip pencil underneath. I generally put a lip pencil under all of my lipsticks. Um, sometimes it's harder for me to match a good color though without really altering the top color that much. But maybe I would layer this one with Night Moth too. It's actually very, very similar to Musky Amos this in my opinion. I didn't know that. It's kind of like I have repeat products now. Don't care. Some of y'all were saying a bright pink. I don't really have that much pink. Oh dang, I haven't even opened this yet. I'll try another like bright pink, like a fuchsia pink this time. I got it really cheap from H-E-B, um, but it's wet and wild and I don't actually see what it's called. It's just 521A, but it's a really kind of fuchsia type pink. Okay, I don't even know if this lipstick looks good with this wig or not, but for some reason this lipstick makes me think of Phantogram, which is a badass indie band that you should all be listening to. But they're coming to town and I'm going to see them, and when I do go see them I think I'm gonna wear this lipstick. Whether I wear my purple hair or not. <laughs> I actually don't really think it looks bad. I like this pink much more than I liked the Gaga kind of baby pink. Okay, now I'm gonna put on my personal favorite lipstick, Yves Saint Laurent's Le Rouge. That's generally the one I wear when I have my normal hair on. Hey, that actually doesn't look as putrid as I expected that it would. I actually kinda like that combo. It's definitely a clash and a big contrast, but I just think my face looks good with red lipstick on it. Or maybe it's just because I'm used to seeing my face with red lipstick on it. It's familiar and comfortable to me. Okay, so the last lipstick I have to try, and by the way, sorry that the red has stained my lips. I don't know if that's just me because I have really naturally light, pale colored lips, but anytime I put red on, it stains really hardcore for a while. But the very last lipstick that I'm going to try for you guys is another shade of black. A lot of you suggested that I try a matte black, and I've had like a non-opaque black with the Urban Decay, and also a really glossy opaque black with the Fantasy Makers, but today I found NYC's Blackula, and this looks like it's going to be a matte black lipstick, so I'll try that one for you guys real quick. Okay, so this is actually still glossy, um, so Beware when shopping for black lipstick, appearances can be deceiving. So this that I got on really badly, like I can just tell the application is treacherous. But this is the look that I've generally been using with my lavender wig is black lips. But now thanks to your guys' suggestions the other day, I think I have a few more that I might like better. So as usual, please take a moment to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for your input. Um, if you can comment down below and tell me which one that you guys liked the best, that might give me a better direction for my Halloween look that I'd like to try with this wig. If you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter. There I am at prettyvacant. I'll put that right down here, and I will see you guys later. Bye!